Hi there. Um, I have not done a vlog in a while. Sorry about that. Um, and it seems like the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. Um, in the way of coming to doing another one. Anyway, I didn't want to spend this whole vlog saying sorry. So, um, just quickly try and get you up to date if I can remember. <sighs> because I did not write a list for making this. Um, just tend to not put much effort in I think sometimes <laughs> um, I'm just about to go to the gym but I thought I'd just quickly make you a um, little you know catch up thing um, the last film club we film we got was um, Gattaca which I've seen before and I just wanted to see again um, and I still like it I remembered quite liking it, not being blown away by it, but quite liking it. I like anything futuristic as well. Well, not anything, but they were in my ballpark area, you know. Uh, it's about, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's about a future where um, your success is based on um, uh, genetics and um, everyone's genetically engineered and people who are left to chance, you know, all their genes are left to chance. They're like, the yonder class because they're uh, and like their death date is predicted when they're born and their like problems that they may encounter uh, like manic depression and things like that um, so there's people who are like totally prejudiced against people's pot uh, potential and stuff and um, this underprivileged you know natural born guy um, basically takes on somebody else's um life <laughs> to um identity to um to realize his dreams uh this workplace because he wants to go to the stars anyway it's quite nice um we <laughs> also I watched re recently on free TV this other sci-fi film called Clone Hunters. Now it's from 2009 but it looks much older. Um, I I mean the quality I'll have seen it on was not good on free TV. But um, it just seemed so retro, you know, like uh, reminded, I liked it for that reason, it was naff. But it was just the right kind of naff for me and I loved it. Um, and I can't get hold of it, it's quite rare apparently. Uh, yeah, they don't do it on Love Film. Um, apparently it's not been, they say it's not been released in the UK. It must have been pretty shit, but it's got this, like, blue, um, hologram cat, holographic cat. Um, and it turns different colours and it, it helps them, it, like, saves them in different ways. And, uh, they are, like, the characters and, um, reminded me of things by, like, Neil Gaiman. And, um, it, it was, like... Uh, reminded me a little bit of um um Blade Runner I'm certainly not a natural at talking into a camera um and especially now I'm out of practice so yeah uh and it's basically that is one where they hunt these clones but this is a clone that's mutated and he's basically like another human being. He's got his own mind and stuff. And he's got powers as well. Um, so, uh, it's really, the graphics just reminded me, some of the graphics in it are so low budget, they reminded me, do you remember playing those computer games where um, you're flying through space and um, everything's just like an outline and you could be going for ages and then you'll see this building and it's just an outline they had some very when their ship was on low power it was looked like that as they were going forwards through this city and um, I don't know and they had this advert for a girl uh, uh, not advert for a girl advert with a girl wearing a Mac because it was going to be acid rain so they were like acid rain shower coming um, wet, put on your plastic Mac or whatever it was called and then she goes, because it's the best protection against third degree burns you can afford. <laughs> Something like that. And I just thought it was funny on this big screen. Anyway, um, yeah, what else? I had some weird dreams. 
I've had dreams, uh, I had a dream I was hanging somebody, not as gross as that sounds. He was basically but strapped up and going, like hanging on the ceiling, but not hanging like, <coughs> hanging. But he was, he was descended from the ceiling like on a, on a rope and I went to the cinema and I was like having a good old laugh and taking him around everywhere. And then someone like let him down and he was all right. He didn't die. But then, and they wouldn't be friends with me anymore. And I was like, why would you be friends with me? Oh, I've been forcing you all this time. And I felt really bad that I'd been like thinking everything was fine. And it wasn't because um, he was um, hanging. Uh, but I don't think it was actually about the guy in the dream because I don't speak to him anymore. I like unfriended him on Facebook because he was a rubbish friend. Anyway, so, um, then I had a dream with, like, a baby in it, and I had to feed the baby. It wasn't a little baby, and that wasn't an anxious dream either, but a little bit. Um, but I was, like, looking everywhere, for, it wasn't my, f my house, and I was looking everywhere for baby food, and, um, I was like, I've got to go to the shop for baby food, but we were in Gateshead, apparently, and they were like, it's nearly Shabbos, you shouldn't be seen in the shops looking in the shops because it's nearly Shabbos and you can't be walking about with this baby and uh, I was like well where's your baby food and um, then there was also there was a rabbit running around free and I was like and it went to do like a wee and um, the litter tray was gone I was like where's your litter tray where's I can't get a litter tray I know I'll let it out the back so I opened up the back and underneath the mat at the back was this cat this squashed poorly cat and it was like gasping and um, it, then it was in a bag and it was in a bag I was trying to get it out of the bag then there was a t-shirt on it then there was water in the bag and it was like nothing I could do could like save this cat things kept going bad and my brain was kept trying to save it it was like no it's alright it's alright oh no no this has gone wrong but even that wasn't mega stressful it wasn't any of my cats it was a black and white one it was at my mum's house but all these animal dependent ugh dreams I'm hmm, mild stressed but they are weird aren't they but uh I can't remember the other one because my boyfriend came to bed and woke me up in the middle of a dream cycle so I forgot it. Um, I also wanted to talk, uh, if there's anybody still listening, <laughs> the other day someone mentioned um, about um, courts but they weren't normal courts, they were Sharia courts like Muslim courts and how they think they should be banned in this country um, and both everybody on there was like so against it I was so shocked of how against it they were against like courts for the religions now they're not really courts they're councils and um, I just felt really bad that they thought it was against their Englishness or something like it they felt threatened by it I could tell they felt threatened by it and it's not a threat and it doesn't mean like they're gonna overrule normal English courts or anything they're more like for domestic disputes um, you know, divorces and other things about land, property, thing, if you believe in a religion then it's part of your religion to have these sort of courts but they don't overrule like the courts of the land, um, like in Jewish religion you would get married by Jewish law but that wouldn't count in normal law so you have to get married in normal law and Jewish law, like if you got married in Jew in normal English law then that wouldn't count into in the Jewish side do you see what I mean so as a Jewish person I can understand from their point of view um, why they would need these courts and people just have this opinion that it's going to be like the ones in the Middle East or something and that their women are being mistreated because it's so old-fashioned blah 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 you can't just say oh this part of your religion is wrong I you know you're not allowed to do it um, I can understand where they're p coming from, of course, and I, I think things like that should be watched and, you know, make sure that no one is being harmed and things like that, but y you shouldn't just assume that um, it's a bad thing because, and that you can't be English and have a religion, and it's part of our religion to have those, like, based in, so their court is the same, I would have thought similar, um, and it's basically not letting you have that uh, hmm. I just think that your nationality I mean I'm very British I feel very patriotically British I am British my parents are British their parents are British you know 
but yet I, we should be allowed to go to higher people of our religion about things. We should be allowed to have rabbis and courts and things like that. It's not... I hope I've put my point across. Yeah, probably gone on too long, but it just made me think about it, how pe everybody's like anti-Muslim because of the terrorist people, and it just must be terrible for the peace-loving Muslims that are just trying to be good people and get on with their lives. <laughs> anyway, um, I better end it there because it's quite, getting quite long now, so... Um, I hope you're all okay and um, I'm sorry I've been away, obviously I've been going through some personal things and I just haven't really felt like vlogging. I've also completed LA Noir and I think it, it grew on me. Um, it was slow to start but then once it got going I got quite addicted and I wanted to um, finish it. I did complete it, I completed it by accident actually, and I was like, oh, I've completed it by accident. I wanted to be the top rank when I finished, but I was on 19. I'm 20 now because I've been around collecting, there's like gold reels to collect. So I'm going around collecting the gold reels and I'm going around doing like, oh, the street crimes. And because um, I didn't finish those, because a lot of the times I like to drive the uh, special cars. Um, not the police cars. I unlocked all the like the special cars and I driving in those and I'm trying all different cars um, And I went back and I did another case where I'd got like one star Because the police chief had a beef with one of the guys and I was supposed to convict uh, I was supposed to accuse him um, So anyway I went back and did it and got five stars so I can't believe the difference <laughs> I should have took the hint from the policeman, uh, my chief, sorry, in, in the first place, but I just thought the other one seemed more guilty, but you didn't have good enough evidence on either, so you were supposed to pick the one that the chief wanted you to put away. <sighs> anyway, I've got to go, um, and I hope this was okay for you. I couldn't find a decent place to do a vlog, so I'm just like doing it standing here. Okay, bye!